Chapter 1, Slave City, Episode 3, Getting Involved Humanity is dying. I'm trying to survive in this environment. My name is Nigel. My friends call me Nigel Light. I live in the remains of a city where once you could live your dreams and where freedom and equality were highly valued. But that time is long gone. I am living an average life now, trying not to stand out of the crowd too much. I have the feeling that this is about to change. Paper. There were the letters P.I. written on it. When I opened it up there was some name scribbled and under the name there was something that looked like a password. So the name must be a username maybe? Julian A. Julian A. So then PI has to stand for Private Internet. That's the message service that is used nowadays to communicate among us slaves. I heard stories about hacked accounts that are used to communicate secretly and anonymously. Maybe this is such an account. It must be. Why else write it on some piece of paper? And, and, and then there was this guy where I got it from. He very well could be involved with, with resistant-like activities. So I decided to keep the paper and hide it. But I did not intend to use it in any way. However, what happened this afternoon might have changed my mind. I was walking back home today, after another crappy slave day, and I noticed a glimpse of a Fox logo on the sidewalk. The Fox, yeah, it's a small but well organized group that have the balls to stand up to the oppressors. Sometimes you hear of an attack or some computer hack that they staged. Maybe for some this is very exciting stuff, but it is extremely dangerous. They therefore operate in secrecy, but sometimes they communicate to the slave city citizens. They do that in different ways, with street graffiti or songs that you hear on the street, or with notes that they scatter throughout the city. You can recognize them by their fog sign, the logo. It looked like it was one of those fog notes lying on the sidewalk. Maybe it contains some interesting information. On the other hand, it might as well be an RP trick or so of some sort. 
Call me paranoid, but you can better be safe than sorry nowadays in Slave City. So I figured it would be best to pick it up as inconspicuously as possible. So after I ensured that no one was watching, I dropped my umbrella on the ground as if it was an accident. And then I swiftly picked up the umbrella together with the note. Brilliantly executed move, if I say so myself. The moment I got home to it just now, I checked what was on there. Here, let me read it. Fellow citizens and friends, we discovered the government is holding back vital information that concerns us all. It explains the power outages we have been experiencing lately and the increasing lack of raw materials. All fossil fuels are practically exhausted. This means there is not enough energy to meet our demands. The problem has been played down in governmental circles. We fear not enough will be done to deploy alternatives to compensate for the shortages. Prepare yourselves for an energy shutdown. Good luck to you all. Okay, this explains a lot. With all the power outages going on and, 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 and stuff that's no longer available. Wait, my slave communicator. I received a message. Citizens, this message comes directly from your governors. For environmental reasons, a mandatory power restriction has been issued as of this moment. The power will be restricted to the residential areas during night and working times. Press here to request exceptional permits. End of message. Wow, for me this is proof that those Fox people know what they are talking about. Intriguing stuff. And what is going on with this lack of fuel and, and, and raw materials? It all sounds to me very alarming. It's frustrating that our slaves are totally kept in the blind. Yeah, maybe I should try to find out more about what the hell is going on. But how? How can I do that? Wait a minute. What about the paper from the poor guy that lost it? Resistance will flourish when there is passion for a cause. It invokes the will to fight. It justifies breaking laws. Bet it all to win something valuable that has been lost. Despite all the odds, no matter what the cost.